Folks in Greensboro have told us the city feels more like a bunch of small neighborhoods with parks and greenways and lots of cultural diversity. So in part two of our weekend in Greensboro, we're going to play and eat our way around the city. The nice thing is you don't really have to be in the mood for anything or for anything in particular because they've got a lot of options. So you grab a drink, hit up some of the local restaurants. Even having been here for a year, we're still discovering new places. We've never been at a loss, so we've been very pleasantly surprised by our transition to Greensboro. Own a bail bond company, decided to start getting out of that. Childhood dream to own a candy store. Uh, my dad used to travel the country with us and uh, we'd hit candy stores everywhere and uh, one day he, he basically said you can have one thing and I said oh, I'm going to own my own candy store and get whatever I want. Well here I am 39 years old and own my own candy store. We carry uh, fudge, gourmet chocolates including truffles, all kinds of chocolate dip pretzels, over a hundred different types of penny candies or bulk candy. Most people, as soon as they walk through the door, they just stop and take a deep breath and they're like, it smells amazing in here. Uh, to me, it smells like a, a giant Tootsie Roll. You have to do something that you enjoy, that you love. I was born in Lida in 1940. Lida at the time was still Palestine. My family came from the old city of Jerusalem. My grandfather was a wholesale merchant in the old city. That store, the back wall of the store was the old city wall. We always wanted to open in Greensboro, expand in Greensboro, because we're born and raised in the city. And so downtown was kind of, um, it really fell in our lap, but it was something that we thought was a natural fit as well because downtown was growing and we like to see downtown like becoming a real blossoming, you know, thriving place. Whatever you do, the food you do has to represent you and your culture, so you do the best. And we make the best hummus, best baba, the best tabbouleh. Our shawarma, um, we butcher lamb legs and top sirloin. We do it ourselves, my brother's own style. I think it stands head and shoulders above all the rest, so definitely recommend it. It all depends on the customer, really. If the customer says, well, can you get me this? You know, I try my best. Ember is a, a Peruvian-Italian fusion restaurant. We serve uh, the traditional Peruvian dishes like um, ceviche and uh, lomo saltado with our beef tenderloin. We have our, our pollo a la brasa, which is a rotisserie chicken done in a wood fire oven. We get a lot of returning customers. We're the only distillery, only legal distillery in Guilford County, um, and certainly in Greensboro. Paint and Goat is sort of a family mascot for us. The idea that the goat gets very excited and just falls to the ground, feet up in the air. All the other goats are freaked out, but the fainting goat jumps up and is okay. Um, as a family, we've kind of been there uh, more than once, so it's just sort of a fun family mascot for us. Our vodka and gin have just taken off. Our vodka, Tiny Cat Vodka, um, in 2018, the American Spirits Association judged it as the top crafted vodka made in the country. It came in best in class of any American-made vodka. So we get about a third of our folks that come from out of town that come to see us. Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, we do tours and tastings. So you can come in, uh, we walk you through the process, show you how we do it. We use all North Carolina grain in our product. Everything's grown on one farm um, down in Marshville, just outside of Charlotte. If we start with a product that's that clean and that good, then it's going to make a, a fantastic product in the end. We are at Chez Jeunesse, which is a French-inspired bistro in downtown Greensboro. The name Chez Jeunesse means place of new beginnings in French, and we have a mission of employing individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Our owner, Catherine, has three cousins um, who are on the autism spectrum and they were really the inspiration and heartbeat behind the restaurant concept here. She also studied culinary arts in France for a year and she fell in love with the way that the French 
take time to prepare their food, to consume their food. Um, Greensboro is a wonderful city for a restaurant like this. We pride ourselves on community in Greensboro, how the people care for one another and spend time to connect with one another. Um, it's, it's a place where a restaurant like this, I think, is really welcomed and supported. There's just so much natural beauty here. The, the Not only natural beauty, but some of the gardens and parks and that kind of stuff. You know, just love being outdoors here. They're at the Science Center and the Children's, the Children's Museum. There's plenty of great stuff happening. The Greensboro Science Center is a three-in-one destination. We are a zoo, an aquarium, and a museum, science museum. We also have a treetop adventure where we want to spark curiosity about the world around you. You are looking at Sky Wild, which is our treetop aerial adventure. It is not your typical zip line adventure that a lot of people think it's going to be. It is really a workout. We are currently in the Wiseman Aquarium at the Touch Tank here where children can interact and get to know some of our cow nose rays. We have over 440,000 people come annually and they come from North Carolina all the way to California, so all 50 states. There you go. This aquatic center is the largest indoor in the country. So if you're into swimming, watching it, diving, water polo, this is the place to come. It's, it's, it's in Greensboro. I wanted to do something that brought the video game culture, specifically the arcade culture of the 80s and 90s, to the town of Greensboro, which I had called my home. You pay one flat admission and then the games are free to play for the entire day. You come and go as you please, play whatever you like. So when you see some weird Japanese games you've never tried, yeah, give it a shot. Elsewhere is a living museum and artist residency program housed in a three-story building in downtown Greensboro in what was a business ran by a woman named Sylvia Gray. So between 1955 and 1997, she amassed a collection of goods. She didn't sell everything. And uh, artists are challenged with using the collection to create new work. I think what Elsewhere helps to remind us of is the importance of people's hands and in collecting, but also the importance of what objects actually bring us and show us, particularly in a, in a day and age where we spend so much time on screens and, and not actually engaging with the physical world.